puts a cross here. You know, it's gonna be a, a piece cross of where, huh? Across this section here from here to here. To stand it out, it's on the two foot center. And that way I'll I'll be able to uh I know where to screw it in all places. That way I won't miss any. Hey y'all, welcome to another day on the bus with Brand New Life. Y'all, today, today is the day, y'all, we are starting to work on the inside. I know we've been missing in action, y'all, for, for a little bit, but y'all, the weather has, was really, had us, had us where we couldn't do anything, really. And then, you know, we did all that uh, leak, tried to do all that leak uh, prevention. So, we didn't have any leaks, so we decided to go ahead and start. Um, so, the holes y'all see, they don't leak as like you think they do. So, those are our holes for the, um, for the what's you call it, drip edges? Yeah. Yeah. So... Here's the hubby. Hey guys. Y'all doing all right? Y'all have to overlook me today. I'm not feeling real, real well. But uh, I'm getting ready to uh, touch up a couple of spots on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and prime the hole inside and uh, start putting my framework down for my uh, flooring. Just start putting my flooring in. And, uh, so, uh, basically, I'm getting ready to uh, hit a few of these spots on this floor with, uh, like, this area right here. I'm going to go over it again with the uh, grinder, not grinder, but the wire wheel, and uh, clean it up some, and then I'm going to touch up a couple of spots on the wall, which this here is not, this is not rust as deep off in there. This is surface, so. I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to come back and prime the whole inside, just to be on the safe side, and, uh, and start putting some woodwork up in here. Hopefully, we can be up in here real soon, sleeping, <laughs> eating, <laughs> cooking, <laughs> you know, having fun. Your coat on that. See, that's we're, not, we're gonna have to put some tape up down those holes, too. Some paint. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. just, uh, you just hit this like this. And see, it's it's basically getting most of it out. And, uh, so I guess in certain areas, if that's taking it off like that, then. Uh, We'll just hit it with that uh, rust oleum and uh, be done with it. I wish that it's a lot of things that I wish I had have known about metal when we first got started. You know, I didn't know that, you know, metal needs to be primed immediately after installing it because uh, 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 the, the uh, coating that they put on it to prevent rust it don't last too long. Mm -mm. So, uh, and then, you know, and because of where we're at, it's damp a lot of times, and then, uh, uh, so I didn't know. And it's, it's hurting us now because I'm having to go back and redo certain things. So let that be a lesson for the wise. You know, make sure you uh, 
take care of your metal before it rusts and it'll save you a lot of time, money, and heartache. So yeah, we had stuff throughout. We so we we're gonna start at the back with our framing and uh, um, flooring. With our flooring and framing, we're gonna start at the back. We're gonna have to do it in sections. Um, so we're gonna start at the back and. As you can see, <laughs> the stuff we will have to maneuver around when we get through with the back, we can hit the middle, then the, then the um, front part here. But as you can see, we got a lot to move around. All right, y'all. And with that being said, what you gonna do, baby? Treat the rush. <laughs> He's going to go to work. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome to another day on the bus with the Brent. Y'all, we've been in my A for a while, y'all, y'all. I know. But, y'all, we're getting the inside ready now for uh, to start framing out the floor and the walls and everything. So, he's just have to do some more uh, rust removal, just a little bit. So we did that, and so now we're re-spraying the floor. So we just spray the inside so that, you know, we rust only, so to keep the rust down and everything. So that's what we're doing today. Get ready to drain it out and then. Babe, you want to talk to the people? Another day on the bus with Brat New Life. Y'all, it's been a long season, y'all. But look how far we've come. Today, y'all, our goal today is um, the painted parts in here. We haven't painted all of it, but the painted part in here. We miss y'all so, 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 so much. And we thank all our subscribers, our new subscribers. We thank y'all for tuning in and coming in and and supporting and, and going with us on this journey y'all so but as I was saying we're about to um, start framing and the crowd goes y'all it was so it's been a long time coming y'all but y'all as you can see we got our um, tuba twos this is what he's going to use to frame. We're going to frame the um, floor for, um, baby, I'm going to let, better yet, I'm going to let the, uh, let my hubby talk to y'all. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing today? Uh, what I'm doing, I'm setting up. I'm going to put uh, two before on the floors to make my sub floor because we're doing a, a floating floor. And uh, I'm using uh, two by twos to frame the flooring out to put my uh, insulation in and then come back over there with my plywood to make my shelf floor. So what I'm gonna do today is, is get all these cut, get them uh, sealed. I'm gonna use a combination of uh, liquid nail and uh, strategically placed screws. And the purpose of my liquid nail more than uh, sticking the wood to the floor is to uh, seal the holes that I'm gonna drill through. Uh, to uh, secure the wood to the metal part of the bus. So that's what I'm getting ready to do is cut my wood and uh, 
start placing all of my uh, wood and lining out where uh, I'm gonna put my uh, cut my insulation and place it inside the floor to uh, insulate the floor. So that's uh, what I'm setting up for now. It's not gonna take much. Me the tools just to drill uh, to drill through with a with a. Uh, I'm using uh, I'm using these screws here to uh, to uh, go through my uh, tube of twos into the floor and, and uh, secure it and uh, they come with their their own particular bit which is a star bit and uh, I'm gonna put those in and these screws here they stick pretty good once you get them in and then once I come over this with the uh, uh, with my plywood then it's gonna really be stabilized so we won't have to worry about that so that's what uh I'm using for that purpose and uh, hopefully I can get most of it done today that's my intention so I still have a little bit more to, uh, to uh, 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 do on the bus as far as because what I did in order to retard rust I wanted to retard all the rust so we treated all the rust that was on here and, uh, and I came back and sprayed it with uh, rust-oleum on the inside to, to, to uh, ensure that we never have a rust problem in those areas. So I think I, I got the rust off. And uh, so I just have, see a third of the bus to finish on the inside and pull some of my tools out and uh, finish that off. And after I get the subfloor in, then we'll start uh, uh, laying out the, uh, the design of our house. So once we do that, We'll be moving on the line. Which before that I'll probably end up putting in my joist in the seal my ceiling joist so that uh I can lay out the way that I seal it is. So so stay tuned because the only thing I can say is is uh wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and it's coming. <laughs> so with that said, I'm going to work. Hmm. Alright, yeah. So it's just chop saw. I guess that's a chop saw. You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's a miter saw. A miter saw. Okay. So, um, but yeah, he's 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 on a mission, y'all. Uh oh. It's going down. Yes. But yeah, there it is. And there you have it. So when he starts to um, once he starts, I bring y'all. I bring y'all along with us. Okay.
Deep that barrel. It counts something. It counts something. Does it? That's what's called counting something. It just it was me though. Y'all look how deep that is. He said it's called a counter sink. Yeah, it's counter sink. Oh, that's neat. That's what that bit does? No. Nah. That's me instead of drilling once and get it in the hole. Oh, okay. It's pulling through metal, metal. So by grabbing that metal, it bite a lot more. Uh -huh. And it allow the screw to pull into the wood easier than it would if you spun two pieces of wood together. <laughs> I just put those two to kind of set my wood so it don't, don't raise because the tuba tubes don't always be and it love it straight it help them flat. Probably hold in, get your screw, screw immediately because you're losing your pilot hole. Hey, Auntie! Hey. I'm doing good. You see it right there. How about yourself? Hello, Auntie. You doing all right? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, good. Okay, so I got that girl. 
cut this one out one more mark, and then I'll be blue. Let's make some pretty good pot there. Can't be too careful with all the edges. This center, so I knew it should have been even on both sides. On both sides. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, y'all. While the hubby's back there framing the back part, this is my job up here to clean up this part. I straighten this part out. So that he can um, um, spray it, spray it for rust -Oleum, with rust -Oleum. So that makes up a part of this day too. So that being said, I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> 